Alright, what is going on guys? It's a Scorpion HD here, back finally with another video. I appreciate it. it's been a while out for me in terms of videos. I haven't made a video in around two and a half weeks. So yeah, I do apologize about that. However, the gameplay in the background here obviously is a stoic Battlefront. Not really going to be talking much about Battlefront in this video. In fact, nothing in depth anyway. Um, but yeah, haven't done a video like this in quite a long time actually. Uh, this is going to be kind of an update and... Uh, guess really it's just aimed to give you guys an idea of what the channel is going to hold in the coming weeks and months but yeah uh, obviously this week we have a few big releases as is typical uh, in November we have Black Ops 3 um, on Friday Need for Speed the day before that next Tuesday we have Fallout 4 and then a few weeks after that we of course have Star Wars Battlefront now I'm planning on covering all of these, if not Need for Speed, it might, it's a slight doubt, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely planning on uh, providing quite a lot of coverage of the other three, you know, if you've been subscribed to me for a long time, you'll have known that uh, Black Ops 2 is kind of where it all started for me on YouTube, you know, um, so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to Black Ops 3, I have a big preference with Call of Duty's nowadays towards the Treyarch developed ones, and of course Black Ops 3 is probably going to be one of the last good CODs because uh, David Vonderhaar is leaving Treyarch uh, at the end of Black Ops 3 so I'm definitely looking forward to it and bringing videos on both Zombies multiplayer um, maybe even campaign we'll see how that goes and of course this new Nightmare mode thing whatever it is um, we'll have to see we obviously get that by uh, completing the campaign but yeah I'm looking forward to bringing Black Ops 3 videos to the channel um, I'll hopefully be a few of those up at the weekend, however we'll see. Um, and then obviously Fallout 4, you know, there's not much to say about that. Um, it's going to be a huge game. I'm definitely looking forward to doing things like how-to videos, locations. Um, you know, back whenever Skyrim came out, I remember I went to YouTube for pretty much everything. Um, there's one video in particular I actually remember, and it was... It was kind of like a farm uh, to an ebony ore. Uh, if you play Skyrim recently, or you might just remember, you know what I'm talking about. To craft the Daedric armor, you needed ebony ore. And uh, I always thought it was real hard to get a hold of this stuff. So I looked it up on YouTube and found out there was like a farm beside an orc camp. There was a mine. Like, I would never have found out that that was an ebony mine unless I went exploring. But I, I looked it up on YouTube and suddenly I had a a class location to go to every time I needed ebony ore, you know. Alright, I had to put the time in to get the, to actually extract the ore from the rocks, but, you know, I never would have known about that if it wasn't for YouTube. I'm looking forward to bringing that kind of stuff to my channel. Uh, anything informational regarding Fallout, maybe even a few just piss about videos here and there, we'll see. Um, perhaps even builds, um, because you can obviously uh, build your own little settlements now. And, you know, there's just a lot of opportunities with Fallout 4 as far as videos go. Um, for me, anyway, I feel like um, it's definitely the right kind of game for YouTube. Um, and obviously it's got a very big community. A lot of people are really excited for it, including myself. So, yeah, Fallout and Black Ops 3 will probably dominate the channel for quite a long time in the weeks to come. And then, lastly, Star Wars Battlefront. You know, everyone's hyped for Battlefront um, because of the new film coming out. Not really much to say there. Uh, I'll be playing the game a lot. Played the old Battlefront games. And I'm really looking forward to Battlefront 3. Um, but yeah. A lot of you guys that have subscribed recently will probably have subscribed. I would say as a result of the Metal Gear Solid 5 videos I did. Because they did pretty well if I do say so myself. Um, and while you know MGS is a great game. You know it was probably one of my favorite games of the year up there with the witcher um i don't really see myself doing any more coverage of it you know there's not really much more that i can do uh don't get me wrong i really want to make more mgs videos for you guys but i like to do the sort of how-to informational uh videos on that kind of game um that's why i feel the the videos i did do on it did so well you know people look up at the end of the day videos to find out how to do stuff most of the time, you know, I do it all the time, um, I feel like those are kind of videos that do well, there's not really much more that I can do as far as, uh, you know, how to's and uh, informational videos on MGS, unless a new DLC comes out, which of course I would be very interested 
in uh, coming back to it and making more videos about it. I am sorry if that disappoints you, you know, I can understand. Um, but at the end of the day, we just have to move forward, don't we? Um, and hopefully we will get a DLC for MGS5, um, perhaps containing the uh, mystery chapters that are missing, but we'll say nothing about that. But yeah, um, a lot of you probably have subscribed as a result of that. And um, with the MGS coverage, Destiny coverage has been kind of regular in the channel as well, in particular the weekly Zero videos. Now those I would say are probably going to stop for a while, because Destiny, while it's a game that I really do enjoy, and still check up on it every day, I am widely involved in the Destiny community. Um, you know, I, I don't really see myself playing much Destiny for the coming weeks. Um, Call of Duty, Fallout, Battlefront, you know, these, these games are probably going to take up most of my gaming time. Definitely Fallout and uh, Call of Duty. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I, I can't see myself um, making many more Destiny videos in the weeks to come. There's not really much point of just going on uh, to check Zur's stock every week and make a quick video about it. Because at the end of the day, his stock and his inventory is well documented. I just like to make videos on it. Um because I felt like I was helping even you know one or two people clicked on my video I felt like I was helping them uh, find out what he had and also um, it kind of gave me a bit of a view you know I like to go back and watch what he was selling you know if I ever need to find out when Zuru last sold something I can just go back to my videos and watch one you know um, and that will basically be all, all I need to find out that information plus the fact that I got uh, you know, the week that Zur sold the Galahorn in year one um, on YouTube is pretty insane. Uh, probably something I'll remember, uh, and a lot of people will remember, throughout Destiny's ten year uh, tenure during uh, its kind of development and all the other games in the series. I know it's a ten year series, uh, anyway, or plan, whatever you want to call it, all that bollocks. But yeah, uh, nonetheless, I'm starting to ramble a bit. The Zur videos will probably not uh, continue for a good few weeks I'd say not saying I'll never come back I'm pretty sure whenever I go back to playing Destiny you know next expansion or something I'll definitely look to bring the Zero videos back because they're an easy video to do and I do enjoy them um, I look for I did look forward to you know Zero coming every week so um, yeah I, I really did enjoy the aspect of waiting for a vendor to arrive and everyone was excited for uh, Zero's imminent arrival every Friday yeah, as far as those two types of videos go, you know, MGS and uh, Zero videos, can't really see much more of them, um, you know, up, up in uh, the future weeks here. Um, honestly, it's probably just going to be Black Ops 3, Fallout, um, and then eventually Star Wars. Um, I do apologise, you know, if these games don't appeal to you, or maybe um, you're just not really that interested in them. I do hope that you can stick around, um, nonetheless, maybe find something useful. However, if uh, if you just don't enjoy the games or whatever, I do understand. You know, whenever I made my YouTube channel, the goal was always to um, really just appeal to as many people as possible, try and help as many people as possible when it comes to things like tips, reviews, overviews, um, and just general impressions of games and stuff like that. Um, I feel like the whole how-to, you know, uh, tutorial style videos are a big thing going forward for me possibly um, I feel like they do well and um, I'm pretty good at making them if I do say so myself you know um, all of my most highly viewed videos including the GTA 5 ones were all pretty much tutorials or how to's for God's sake I have 130,000 views on a video on GTA 5 of how to use you know a fucking garage like People obviously enjoy that kind of content. If you don't agree or whatever, you know, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm not saying this is final. Um, I'm definitely open to suggestions. However, I do feel that that is um, a potential possibility for me in the future. And um, yeah, you know, I always wanted to help as many people cover as many games as possible, and not just not be the same kind of uh, YouTuber as everyone else. You know, some people just like to stick with one game. But I never really wanted to do that. I'd rather just, I don't know, uh, gravitate and appeal to as many people as possible. But yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video nonetheless. Just wanted to provide a quick little update, I guess, on uh, the whole future of the channel situation and what it's going to 
uh, hold in the recent weeks. Um, I do, or the four coming weeks, sorry. Um, in the recent weeks, the reason that there haven't been too many uploads is simply just because I'm kind of waiting for these games now. Um, I'm not really playing any games. You know, I'll turn my PlayStation on and I'll just kind of sit there and then think, oh, well, I'm kind of just waiting for Black Ops and Fallout to come out, aren't I? Like, I'm kind of just bored of everything. And as a result of that, I haven't really felt like uploading. So I do apologise about that. Um, not like I'm neglecting the channel or forgetting about it or anything. Um, and yeah, you know, the fact that I hit 800 subs whenever I hadn't even hadn't even uploaded in two and a half weeks, it, it really meant a lot to me. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for 800 subs. Hope you can continue to watch and enjoy my content going forward. Thanks for watching, and yeah, cheers. Together as one.